This screen shows you the timing for the rotary and main pistons. This is controllable to allow you to change your settings if your products are especially stringy or thin or if your products are especially thick. You might need to adjust these settings to either increase your time or to slow it down to allow for the best settings for your product. The top here indicates the rotary piston forward dwell time. This setting indicates how long after the valve opens before the main piston moves forward dosing. So if you look over here, when, when the product cycle is initiated, the first thing that will happen is that the rotary piston will move back, opening the valve in here to allow for dispensing. So the rotary piston forward dwell time monitors how long after the valve opens before the piston move for, moves forward. So in this case it's set to 0.3 seconds. That means when the cycle is initiated immediately the rotary piston opens and then 0.3 seconds later the main piston moves forward. Your next setting is the main piston forward dwell. That's also set to 0.3 seconds. What this monitors is the time the piston stays forward after dosing before the valve closes. So that's what that indicates then is so once this main piston goes forward 0.3 seconds later the rotary piston closes back off. Now in some cases where your product is thicker and has more back pressure, you might want to have this dwell time a little bit longer to allow for full dispensing of the product before closing the valve. The last setting is the rotary piston return dwell. So this indicates the time the piston remains forward after the rotary cylinder closes the valve. So again, once the cylinder moves forward, there's that the main piston dwell time that determines how long after it moves forward this will switch back. Now the rotary piston return dwell time is how long after the valve closes before the main piston can return to pull new product for the next dose.